which was out of print for years. This is one of John Henry Clark's favorite, and it's called Who Is This King of Glory? The Critical Study in the Christos Messiah Tradition. Uh, 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 Christos Messiah Tradition. And it talks about who is this king of, of glory. And it talks about how the Roman government took all the scriptures and turned them around. And he goes, take this stuff all the way back to Egypt, Islam, and everything. Who is this king of glory? Is, is Al Alvin Boyd Kuhn is his name. Um, who is this king of glory? As a matter of fact, um, John Henry Clark um, um, told me about that book back in 81. But uh, I had to wait until the Outer Print um, Company, which is Kessinger, put the book out. Who is this King of Glory by Alvin Boyd uh, Kewen is his name. And it deals with that particular stuff on how they, they the historical thing on how they took those scriptures and, um, and, 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 and made those scriptures other than what they actually say. You should ignore the fool. Thomas's answer say, we can say in the presence of the people. They will say that uh, to the blind person, which is teaching that shall utter the wretched mortals and say, we have come for doing good and not for revealing. Moreover, they will say, if we had been born in the flesh, then we should not become acquainted with our iniquities. The Savior say, truly do not consider these people to be human beings. Now that's saying don't even consider these fools to be human beings. Rather count them as demonic, no, as domestic animals. Now let's go back to the thing before that on what they said. They said, if we, if we not have been born in the flesh, we would not have become acquainted with our iniquity. So they're saying that in actuality, it's okay to be immersed in beauty and all the things that in actually take us from the Christ spirit if we had not been born in flesh. So that's what the doggone Bible tells you, that you're born in sin and you, and you are evil inherently. That's what the Bible says. All through the whole book, they never say that the man is Christ-like other than Jesus Christ. They always say that the man is evil and he needs one man to save them. And, and here they say, and that's basically what they said in this passage, but the sailors say, truly do not consider these people as human beings. Rather count them as domestic animals. For just as animals devour one another, so also human beings of this kind devour one another. This is on page 406 of the book. We should ignore the fools. Punishment of the fools. By they are excluded from the kingdom, insomuch as they love the sweetness of fire, which is the sun, and service of death, and pursue deeds of disfilement, perfect desire of their and the perfect desire of their ancestors. So they are talking about a people. It's, 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 it's plain as day. They will be cast down into the abyss and punished and the fate belonging to the bitterness of their evil nature. Indeed, they will be flogged until they rush wither and they will not, uh, until they, no, excuse me, they will be flogged until they rush wither and they will not. You have to figure out what they mean by that. And they will, will receive from their limbs and not, not partly, but despair. And they will rejoice at the madness and become dumbfounded. Being they rush towards the dumbfoundedness, which is ignorance, with not uh, uh, understanding their madness and thinking that they are wise, that's what the white man does, their body, their body with their heart set upon their own selves and their thoughts upon their actions, so they are in love with the physical body and their actions. They are just in love with themselves. But is the flame that will consume them. Now, they're talking about the kundalini that will burn them up. And I understand they got a, 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 a TV show on about, um, about people burning up now. Um, the, what's called? Yeah, but they put black people in there and all. And it says, Thomas answered and said, Lord, will each of them be cast down into them which each of them be cast down. And I am very anxious about them since many oppose them. The Savior answers and says, What do you think? What do you think? Jude is called Thomas, and the Lord should speak, and they who should listen to. So they go into this whole thing about the punishment of them. But they say, Do not even consider them as human beings. Now, 
Here it is in black and white, and now the beautiful part about this is we can't front no more and say what the Bible says because this is the real stuff that the Bible came from. Dug up in 1945. You see, dug up in 1945. And all this, these are the, the, the real ones. Now, there's two of these. There's the Gnostic Scripture, and then there's the Nyack Hammerdy Library by James Robinson. But I would suggest the Gnostic Scripture because what they do is, is they, he is going, since night, for, since it took them 19 or 18 years, but they have gone in and, and actually, tick, tick, they translated them at first, and you got the raw scriptures in the Nag Hammerdy Library, this big book. This one, they came in and they put the headings under what the actual scriptures say, so you just go to the headings and then boom. You Sometimes you could read the headings and don't even have to go into what the Christ is actually saying. The Christ is, the, the, go into what the Christ is actually saying. But it's beautiful in here. And this is the beautiful part about this, that which makes this different than the Bible. In here the Christ surely states, he says, I am the Redeemer, but I myself have to be redeemed. And then I will redeem those who I come after, and they redeem me. He never ever has a superiority that he is over the people that he is coming to redeem, because it's talking about the Christ which is in you. And it says the Christ... So the Christ is in you. So this is like your inside spirit speaking inside out. And it says, I am the Christ, which is your inner self, saying, I am the Redeemer, but I have to be redeemed. So you, that's what you're doing now. You're going through the struggle to redeem it. Then it says, I, am, I come and I redeem them, and they redeem me, which is saying that, then he said, then he even said, then my siblings, we are all at one. So that means we're talking about none other than they give you in so many words that you're talking about a race of people other than one person because the Christ is within. And never in here do, do, do he, does he come and literally says that he is above the people that he is redeeming because he is in every one of the people, which is clearly stated in all of the book. You see what I'm saying? So we're talking about pure scriptures if you take the time to sit down and read them. Um, sit down and read them and all, but never read them as, it is, is, as if it's outside of yourself. And that's where you mess up, reading some damn person that you think walked the earth 2,000 years ago when it is meant for you to get this book now and read this particular book as a doggone pathway to your soul. You see what I'm saying? As, 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 a, path, as, as a pathway to your soul. Now, let's get a few, a few other things on a dollar, bra. A uh, 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 few other things on, on a dollar, bra. And then we're going to go into how to kill him and, and, and a few other things we're going we're gonna to deal with before we close out tonight, you know. The reproof of a dollar gross arrogance. Their chief is blind because of its power. It lacks the acquaintance and the and it is arrogant and it is and it said of power. It is I who am God. There is no one apart from me. This is what he said. He's so damn arrogant. And you know that's the, the Bible does put that in there to let you know who's talking. It is no one apart from me. It is said that I sinned against uh, uh, eternity, and the utterance is got up to incorruptibility. Now it says, then there was the voice that came forth from incorruptibility and saying, you have mistaken a doll of broth, which is the God of the blind. So what happened was is that Sophia came in and said, a doll of broth don't lie. There is a God before you, and he lives on the earth, and a doll of broth is very jealous and say, I am a jealous God of Adam and I must support.